Hey guys, so this video is going to kind of be an earthly vibes type of video and I was actually inspired by, let me find her Instagram so I can actually like say the right person. Um, her name on Instagram is DMR319, like the numbers 319 and that's the look that she did but yeah, I was inspired by her and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to recreate that. I like the little grayish tones, earthly. I don't know. I just like the forest greens and everything. So if you want to see how I got this look right here, then continue to watch this video. Okay, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is put the NYX eyeshadow base all over my lid. And I'm just using a flat brush. And I'm just going to blend that out just to kind of create a base for my lid for my eyeshadow to go on. Just so it can kind of blend out smoothly and all the colors will show up more and just all that good stuff. Now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills shade in the color Sienna. And I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. Tra that's so hard to say. Transition shade. I'm just putting that a little bit above my crease and blending that out all seamlessly and everything. And then after that I'm going to go in with the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. And I'm going to use the color um, Forest. And I'm just going to place that all over my lid. Right here I'm going back in with Sienna just because I feel like I lost a little bit of that when we put Forest in there. So I'm just going to put this back in um, where the transition shade first went. And then right after that I'm going to go in with the Anastasia eyeshadow in Smoke. And I'm just going to use that just to deepen up my crease a little bit just to add more of a dramatic effect. And to just make it look bomb all over in that crease. So the next thing that I'm going to do is going with this Anastasia eyeshadow in the shade Emerald and it's basically just a pretty foresty green I don't know just a beautiful shade and I just kind of wanted to bring out some more of that green that I placed on my lid before and I feel like that kind of made it pop more and I wanted something a little bit more bold than just the usual shimmer eyeshadow so I decided to go with this kind of metallic eyeshadow instead and I'm just placing that on the inner third of my eyelid. I did go too far in on my eyelid right here, but I do end up fixing that later on. And then now I'm just put putting some more of that forest shade back on my lid because I wanted it to come out or be more bold, I guess, after I put that emerald back on there. So I'm just kind of building this back up again kind of just like we did the um the transition shade earlier too and now i'm taking that forest green um shade again and i'm putting that on my lower lash line just to kind of smoke that out a little bit and then i am going to i didn't show the picture of the um eyeshadow but i am going to take that jet black eyeshadow that's in the lorac um or lorac how you pronounce it mega pro 3 palette as well and i'm putting that on the outer third of my lower lash line just because I wanted to add a little bit more depth to the bottom lash line and make it look more smoky down there. And now I'm taking this gold leaf color, which is pretty much like a bright yellow gold, and I'm going to put that on my inner tear ducts. 
um before when i did this look the first time when i practice it my um the inner third or not inner third the inner tear duct was brighter the eyeshadows that i used because i mixed them from the um morphe 350 palette but i wanted to try this one today just because i felt like it was going to be more of my yellow gold that i wanted the other one was more just like the regular gold but i tried this and i sprayed some um smashbox primer water on it as well to try to make it pop more but I don't know. I kind of wish that it was just more. I just wish it was brighter. And I do mess up right here again too. I put that too far up. But I do end up fixing that with some Q-tips later on as well. And now I'm taking this Smashbox Gel Eyeliner. And I'm going to... Um, line my waterline and then I'm going to top tight line my upper lash line I really hate doing this like this it makes my eyes water so much and these are the lashes that I'm using they're the Ardell faux mink and um, they're 810s and they're just kind of fluttery and I just like really like those and this is the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick um, I don't have or don't know the shade off the top of my head but I definitely will put that down in the description box for you guys but it's just a really pretty gray cool tone liquid lipstick and I thought it would bring out like those earthy tones really really well and it actually did and then I'm going to go in and put this um, gold lip gloss from Anastasia on top of it. I wish it was, um, it kind of matted down with the liquid lipstick since the liquid lipstick is a matte of course. Um, and I didn't like that. I wish it would have stayed more golden, but it kind of, I don't know, it turned more nudie. But this is the finished look, you guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it for you. It's a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but I enjoyed doing it. But... I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye, guys.